Hello there and welcome back to the bedroom. Today I wanted to sit down and just talk about some stuff that has brought me joy. She brings me joy. <laughs> Number one on the list, the cat. All the cats. We have six cats. The other day I had to ask this because I can't do the acronym, it just... <laughs> I asked it, how many cats does Becky J Brown have? And it said three. So I corrected it and then I said, okay, so now that we know that she has six cats, what are their names? And it came up with loads of random names. None of them were correct. <gasps> so here are all the cats. Archie, Rocky, he should have been Gilly, I hate Rocky as a name. Grable, Blossom, Millie, and Phoebe, whom I call Baby. They all bring me joy. Anyway, let's get into this. So it's been an age since I did a video where I held up stuff. My last video about books was back in 2020, my last haul was art prints back in 2023 when I went to Scotland, but before that was probably 2018. I'm going to ignore my what's in my bag videos. There's many reasons why I stopped doing it. I think also you get to a point when you realise stuff doesn't necessarily bring joy, which might sound a bit hypocritical, bearing in mind where this vlog is going, but that's a topic on its own. But also I just had no disposable income. I barely had enough income to live, let alone have to actually have life. <laughs> I'm trying not to get too deep, but it's been a long time basically since I've felt able to really talk about stuff in the way that I'm going to today. So let's talk about some stuff that has made me happy the last few months or so. The first thing is this. I found this for a pound. Where my parents live, there is a secondhand warehouse, which is absurdly cheap. It's amazing what stuff is in there and everything's just being kicked out as quickly as possible. I do find so many things in there, but this in particular just sparked happiness. Stripes are not really my thing, but it has this nostalgic feel. It reminds me a bit of this. I wore that a lot going back 15 years ago. I know that pink isn't necessarily my colour. I'm learning that olive green is. I'm learning to like olive green, but I can still like pink. In my own space, I can still wear pink, which leads me on to this. <laughs> when I came back from Wales, my sister thrust this into my hands. She found this for a pound. It is pink, it might look coral. It's nearly coral, but it's not coral. I don't like coral pink. It's not quite baby pink. It is acrylic, it will bubble. It probably won't last too long, but I'm gonna love it for its duration and its life with me. The next thing is pillows. So I found that one over there, the blue one. And in different places in Wales, I found these two. So the bedding I'm currently sitting on, not that you can see, is Kath Kidson and I bought it two years ago on eBay and I love it to pieces. And one side is like this and the other side is like this. So it was like these pillows are made for my bedding. I never used to be a big cushion person. I think I'm getting there, slowly but surely. The next thing I have is not something I've bought, but something that went missing. Not everything in life that brings us joy has to be something we buy. As I film this, it's October of 2024, I don't know when this will go up, but in November of 2023, this went missing, and I thought I lost this at a kayak pool session. So as I'm filming these clips under the water, I tie my phone to this bottle and leave this on the side. And if this falls in, it floats, and it doesn't matter anyway because you're in a pool, but it's a really crucial part of my filming. So when it went missing, chaos, explosions. Also, I'm autistic, and I think this has been a safe product. I've been using variations of this design by this company, it's by a company called Aladdin, for 15 years. So I adore this. I love the spinny lid. I can just trust it, it doesn't leak, which is fantastic. Anyway, going back to it going missing. So I thought I lost it for good and then I couldn't get my hands on a new one. So I ended up buying lots of other bottles of which I haven't liked. This is one of them. And it's amazing how when something goes missing, it can have like a knock-on effect. Like obviously it's my fault, I suppose, it's gone missing. Like I am the catalyst. But the point is because something has happened, so much bad stuff happens. So because that bottle went missing, I bought other bottles. And one of the bottles I bought to begin with that I no longer have in my possession because my mum accidentally destroyed it with hot water. But anyway, when I first got it, I stupidly put inside a bag, but it had a pop lid, so a bit like this, but it was far looser. But the point is I put it in a bag and I put that bag on top of my laptop bag in the car for over an hour, got the other end and then found that my laptop was swimming. It went through everything. And the big thing of course was the laptop. So the laptop's been damaged. The laptop repair costs are 1,400, 1,379. But luckily I have Apple Care, so I only have to pay the excess, which is 229. So now I'm without a laptop, but also I'm in the situation of having this happen for the first time in my life and I'm so stressed. It's repairable, you gotta laugh. It's not life or death, but... If I hadn't have lost this, the amount of bad things that wouldn't have happened 
and the amount of money I wouldn't have lost. In terms of finding it though, Mum found this this week at the back of a cupboard, one of which I don't use. So what we think happened is, last year one of the nurses put this in a cupboard to try to be helpful. Anyway, finding this has brought joy and made me cry internally about money. The next thing on the list is a combination of stuff I've bought, but also stuff I've had for a long time. So, scrunchies. Some of these I bought recently and I've had a ton of these in boxes going back to the noughties. My hair has got long enough to tie it into ponies. Are my ears red? They feel red, yeah. So that on its own is exciting, but scrunchies. These are the tiny ones I bought recently. These are the new ones. I've had a small box in my flats for a long time with tons of scrunchies that I've just been holding on to, and now was the time. But also, one of the reasons that's provoked me to going back to scrunchies as opposed to the plastic bubbles is, I think the plastic bubbles are damaging my hair, in addition to also being a person who non-stop ties their hair up and brings it down. So I think I'm also partially to blame for this. I can't stop tying up my hair. But I'm understanding as well that one of the reasons why I keep tying up my hair and bringing it back down again is I am overstimulated by my own hair, which is also why I tear. It contributes to the cr cricketillomania? Cricket? Trichotillomania. So I'm hoping that scrunchies will be better for my hair than the bobbles, the plastic ones, um, but also the joy in just using scrunchies and them looking okay. It's such a big thing. Like I know about two years ago my hair started getting long enough to tie it up but I still had problems. I had so much hair on this side that was so much shorter so it kept falling down. It, it wasn't... Mm. Now when I tie my hair up, although there's tons of short stuff all scattered around, it all goes up and it just about stays. A few months ago lots of this was falling down but The last time I did bunchies was probably 2022 and tons of my hair was missing. Yes? <laughs> yes! The next thing was something I've wanted for a long time. I finally got myself some Lano lips and this is amazing. The taste or the fragrance of it just reminds me of lip gloss from the noughties. It's sort of like a gloss, it's not particularly something I'd wear to bed but I am a big fan of lip balm. I have lip balm with me wherever I go. I use lip balm non-stop. I have to have lip balm with me. It's not that I've got bored of lip balm, but I think I've been buying the same types of lip balms for a while now and it's nice to have a change, but this, it makes me feel glamorous. What's funny though is I don't really have any lips. My lips are so small and I swear they're getting smaller the older I get, especially the top one. It's almost non-existent. How much more is it gonna disappear? But despite the fact I have no lips, I still have lips and I can feel my lips and so I know I need lip balm or I feel more reassured when I have lip balm. I don't know if you can take me seriously with the bunchies. The next thing is pyjamas. So back in August I bought new pyjamas. This was me bouncing around the day that I put them on for the first time and they're soft, they're not restrictive, but also they match my bedding. Can you, can you see there's a pattern here? Well there is a pattern. They match. <laughs> It all matches. It's always nice to get new pyjamas. I've also learned a lot about overstimulation in terms of clothing. So I've always known that I found clothing difficult, not just in terms of what's fashionable, but in terms of how I feel in my clothes, how stressed I get, how it contributes to autistic meltdowns, how it makes it really hard to get through a day wearing the same outfit, how I change so often behind the scenes, how I have almost a suitcase with me wherever I go, hidden in my car of different outfits. Aside from working in London, I really do feel like I'm holding back on what I'm wearing in terms of trying to please other people and just putting myself first. My autistic and possibly ADHD self first. I do realise my hands are everywhere in this. I'm just going to take these out. <laughs> Nothing wrong with bunchies. The last thing on my list is this. The summary is, I finally bought a pink case. I've had this phone three years and now was the time. This is actually the second one I bought because the first one I got, it said it was pink, wasn't pink. Oh, hello. Hi. It was peach and we do not like peach. Coral, pink, I don't like that type of pink. So I had to send it back. And then I went for this and this was a bit brighter than I was expecting. That's not necessarily a bad thing. At least it will stand out against all the baby pink around my desk. But this is making me very happy to see. got a cat under the bed. Hello, baby. Hello. 
the moment. Hello. Obviously this is a lot of stuff, but there's other things I'm trying to do to not necessarily make me happy, but to be good things within my daily life. So for example, I'm using my diffuser, or I'm burning candles, or I'm trying to burn through lots of my candles to also get rid of stuff, like I'm burning the candles to then get rid of the candles. For some of this, it's not necessarily the stuff, it's more the meaning, especially those, but I hope this has been happy to watch, like I've been happy doing this. It's okay to be materialistic sometimes, not all the time. If you've got this far in the video, put downstairs something that has brought you joy recently. It can be something materialistic or something that's just happened within your life. Just write something lovely and that share lots of love. I hope this is cut together okay. I will see you soon.